Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. Today is kind of like a part two of a haul I did recently of some bits I got from Scarlet's Parrot Essentials. I said I was expecting some things from Northern Parrots and some other places and the Northern Parrot stuff and the Buy Whole Foods stuff has arrived but I'm still waiting on some other bits from the Natural Bird Product Company. So I'll probably put those bits like on Instagram. So if you're not following me over there, I, it's just at Bird Nerd Sophie. Um, but I'm gonna show you what I got from Northern Parrots and buy Whole Foods online today. And hopefully give you a little bit of inspiration on what you could treat your birds to in terms of some lovely treats that are natural and also some toys as well. So I think we'll start with the buy Whole Foods online stuff. So first of all, I got some whole dried chilies. My birds absolutely love chilies. I do give them to them fresh, but um, I really enjoy giving them to them dried as well. I know David was very insistent that I bought these. Um, you can get like dried chilies in certain seed mixes and things like that, but they are not human grade, so they're not high quality. Whereas these ones are human grade and um, yeah, they're really brilliant. So really excited to give these a go. I actually have a third pack, we bought tons of them. And uh, yeah, the birds just love them. So they're a great little kind of treat and they love holding them as well. Then I got some organic extra virgin coconut oil. I've read a lot recently on coconut oil and the benefits of it and things like that. And I thought that I would give it a go with my birds and sort of track how they react to it because there are so many reported benefits of coconut oil. If you'd like me to do a video on coconut oil and how you can use it with your birds, then let me know down in the comments. This is really interesting and the Conyers love it. They just eat it off of a spoon. Cocktails are a little bit wary, so um, we'll see what they think of it over the coming weeks. But if you are gonna get your bird some coconut coconut oil it does need to be organic and it needs to be extra virgin and raw cold pressed all the good stuff you need to get a high quality one so you know that it is good and safe for your birds then I got some hulled millet now I use this as part of kind of like a dry seed mix I don't have this as the, like the base of it because obviously millet is more of a treat food but the seed mix itself is kind of a treat food so I got some of this and um, the boys obviously really like it this is organic as well the conyers like it too so that's just like an added extra I also got some organic oat groats, again, part of this sort of treat seed mix. I did show it in one of my vlogs, so I'll leave a card for it now. Um, again, another favourite with the birds. I also got some raw buckwheat again, another favourite with the birds, unsurprisingly. Um, this is great because you can feed it raw, or you can also soak it for 15 minutes, rinse it, and then give it to your birds, and it just makes it a little bit more, it's called like bioavailable, so it's a little bit more easier to digest. Um, but this is a really great one. There's lots of nutrition in here, so I always try and have this in my store cupboard for the birds. Next up are some organic goji berries. Again, a favourite with my entire flock, and these are full of antioxidants. They're a great little snack for your birds as part of a complete and balanced diet, so I always like to stock up on these as well. Now for a bit of spice, we've also got some organic whole cloves. Uh, these smell absolutely amazing, they smell really festive. I love the smell of these compared to like star anise, which the birds love, but it smells like licorice and I hate it. But these smell festive and lovely, and um, they're a great little kind of foot toy for your birds to kind of hold and chew and have a bit of fun with. And then the final thing from Buy Whole Foods Online is this humongous like 2.5 kilo bag of organic quinoa grain. Now your birds can eat quinoa raw and dry, or you can sprout it, and it's probably one of the easiest things to sprout. I did show how to do this in my sprouting video. You soak it for about two hours, and then rinse it, and usually the next day it is fully sprouted, so it's really easy to do, and a lot of birds really like it. So I like to have a lot of quinoa in the cupboard. But if you'd like to get anything from Buy Whole Foods online, I've got a link down in the description. You can go and check out lots of bird safe goodies on there. Now on to my bits from Northern Parrots. I got some millet on the spray, which we use mostly for the boys for training but the conyers do like it as well and with the spray millet we do actually pick off the little buds we don't kind of give the whole spray to them uh, we pick off the buds and then we can portion control treats better um, so I always like to stock up on the millet this is the millet that I get all the time it's by Vitacraft I only ever buy their popping corn from them I don't buy any of the kind of treat sticks or anything like that and none of the seed mixes but I do find their millet is very good and that's why I keep buying this particular one then I got some bird safe crinkle paper it's sometimes a bit tricky to find what is bird safe and what isn't. Usually you want to make sure that it is dyed with safe materials and it's not shiny or coated in plastic or anything like that. This one is by Superbird Creations. It's a little bit on the pricey side for crinkle paper but I do know that it's safe and that's why I keep buying this one and it does go quite far when it actually all puffs out there is quite a lot of it it's just condensed into this bag so it's always good to have crinkle paper for foraging and toys and things like that. 
The next toy I'm really excited about, and it's huge, this is the party paper wheel. And I thought this would be perfect for my birds because it's all made out of natural materials. The circle in the middle is one of those giant birdie bagels. You've got the mini ones there. You've got finger traps, loads of crinkle paper, and it's all on this chain as well. So I think this is gonna be for pickles and scampi. Um, but then I've got two other things for chip and fish and olive, and I'm gonna show you those now. So I'm gonna keep them in the netting because this tissue paper goes absolutely everywhere. But these are party prina toys. It's essentially a giant rattan ball, like a wicker ball, and it's stuffed with loads of uh, crinkle paper and things. It's got a little string and a bit of leather strap to hang it up. And um, yeah, so I think Olive and Chip and Fish are gonna really enjoy these, um, but when it comes out of this kind of netting material, it kind of puffs up and is a lot bigger. So yeah, really like these. Then I got another corner perch. Chip and Fish love their corner perch, but they also like pooping on it and chewing it. So it's always good to stock up on these. This is a Zoomax one, um, and they're pretty affordable to be honest. This was about five pounds, so that's not too bad. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but Chip and Fish are like having synchronized weird noises to each other. It's quite funny. Um, and they desperately don't want me to film this video. They want to be as noisy as possible, as usual. It wouldn't be a bird nerd Sophie video if the birds weren't kicking off at every opportunity, like Olive is now. But I'm on to the last item. And that is these Paper Party Prina perches. Uh, all of the birds love these. They're great for a bit of variety with perches. They can chew the paper sticks. They can sit on their little cube and it's lots of fun. And you can even hide treats in the sticks if you wanted to. So I've got one for um, scampi pickles and one for chicken fish because Olive already has one. So all the birds are stocked up on goodies for a little while. But we all know that I can't help myself with just buying more stuff for them because I like to try out new things. And it's kind of like a bad habit habit of just buying stuff for the birds all the time. Future Sophie butting in here to say that yes, I did another order because I can't control myself, but also um, Northern Parrots had a couple of things that I needed that they added to the sale halfway through. So I was like, let's just, let's do another order, why not? So I thought I'd quick fire show you what I got. I got three of these long sisal, sisal ropes uh, in the small because the boys need replacing and I think we'll probably replace Pickles and Scampi's one. Again, we needed a replacement for the boys' shell perch. This is like a calcium and iodine perch. And um, the small's been out of stock for absolutely ages, but they're back in now. And it was on sale, and we know we love a bargain, so I got another one of those. Um, another calcium and iodine perch to replace one in Pickles and Scampi's cage. This is just the small one, and it's in this really sort of beautiful, like dark green pine colour. I haven't seen one in these colours, um, but they always come in like a random colour. You don't know which one you're going to get, so that's quite exciting. Um, and then I got probably my favourite toys um, on the market at the moment. Uh, they are these little pouches, little foraging pouches. Um, and yeah, they're full of like crinkle paper and it's just a really fun toy. You can hide things in here, the birds love climbing them. So I picked up two of these because again, Pickles and Scampi already got one, but I got one for Chip and Fish and then one for Olive as well. So here's a couple of extra bits. So that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the goodies I got for my birds. If you've treated your birds recently, let me know what you treated them to. Or if you've made any DIY toys or anything like that, I'd love to hear what you've been up to with your birds. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Take care and have a great day.